We started looking into this after someone did pass a barrier in Arizona. Authorities there say a woman was trying to take a selfie with a Jaguar this past weekend when she breached the barrier and got her arm clawed up. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Remember Harambe back in 2016? That was the gorilla that was killed after a child climbed over a barrier and fell into the exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo. The child wound up being okay, but it prompted many zoos to take a closer look at their own barriers, including the North Carolina Zoo in Ashboro. One of the big concerns was that parents were putting their kids on the rail around the lion exhibit. Our guests aren't always thinking <laughs> the best way that they should. No Jennifer Ireland, the curator of mammals, says no one's ever gotten into that exhibit and they want to keep it that way. They upgraded this fall by replacing the outer rail and moving it back and also adding mesh so children can't crawl under it. You'll also notice that there's an added layer of glass beyond the rail. It's a double layer of protection that the zoo uses for deadly and dangerous animals. Even if the animal might not seem dangerous, think again. Ireland says it's not always about physical contact. Sometimes getting too close will get you sick. So every animal at the zoo is dangerous and every person should consider that they are and not breach barriers trying to get close to them to get that selfie to touch them. It's always going to end badly for the guests. Not only are there barriers at the zoo, but there are very clear warning signs. Plus staying behind barriers is listed as one of the rules visitors need to know and follow.